Hi there, I'm Ron West. Welcome to the Majestic Theatre. This is Australia's longest continuously running picture theatre. Built in 1921, it's been running continuously now for 88 years. It started out showing silent films, as well as being the social centre for town. Everything was held here. Deb balls, boxing matches, touring shows, weddings, roller skating Wednesday nights, but always pictures every Saturday night. 1933 saw the introduction of sound, and Pomona then had the new talking pictures. During the Second World War, there were two army camps in the area, and the army took the place over to entertain the troops, and it was running seven nights a week, much to the annoyance of local residents who couldn't get in to see the pictures. The army was generous, and they left the front doors open so you could stand in the middle of the Bruce Highway and watch through the open doors. Well, it uh, survived the 50s and 60s with the advent of television and all the other social changes that closed so many of these places down and it was still running once a fortnight when I discovered it in 1973. I was looking for a venue for a film festival. The proprietor was very reluctant to run anything as radical as a film festival, but I talked him into it, and it was so enormously successful that the following year my late partner and I bought the place. We soon had it up running seven nights a week and three matinees as well, so it kept us very fully occupied. Then in 1985 they built a cinema at Noosa, and that knocked us about quite a bit, but we survived. Then in 1987 came a phone call that changed the fate of the place for quite some time in the future, I think. A lady organising entertainment for a convention at the Hyatt at Coolum rang and asked if we could run a silent film. Well, I had one, so I said yes. They brought a coach load of 55 up, we poured some champagne and canopies into them, brought them into the inside here, I ran the film, I made it up as I went along, they fell about laughing, so we poured them back on the bus again and thought, well that was interesting. And then the phone started ringing, word had got around, it seemed like everybody wanted to see the silent films. And uh, so uh, after a couple of months it became very obvious that we were making more money out of running silent pictures than we were out of running talkies. So we made an executive decision. We scrapped the talkies, turned off the sound system and went back to real pictures again, expecting it to last a few months as a curiosity. Well, ever since those first days in 1987, every Thursday night, plus matinees, Rudolph Valentino has galloped across the burning sands to rescue Vilma Banke in The Son of the Sheik. And that film's been running here now for 23 years. And this now is the only authentic silent picture theatre fully operating as a silent picture theatre anywhere in the world. And we get people coming from all over the world to experience what it was like to go to the pictures back in those golden days before they learned to talk and spoiled everything. So, welcome to the 1920s. This is what it was like.